Hello and welcome to Deck Techs with Lady Lavinius. In this one, we're going to be focused around a deck called The Pile. The reason it's called The Pile is for something that you would not really expect. It's a pile of cards. It's 250 cards in size, which is the largest that Arena lets you play um, before it says we're, we're done here. Uh, it's so large that it actually doesn't have a sideboard, which is super fun. So this deck is a pile of good stuff. It is a good stuff, five color deck um, that has just a lot of value in just all of it being rares and mythics. So they're all just very solid cards, very good cards, and uh, can run away with the game pretty quickly. The only cards that are duplicates um, are mana fixing. So we have like Dryad of Elysian Grove, Treasure Map, Chromatic Lantern. Those are three ofs or four ofs um, just to make sure that the deck can actually run and function because again it is five color and we have a lot of cards. There's 105 lands that make up this deck. Um, most of them are some type of dual land um, or even tri-land to be able to play some of these uh, cards. A lot of them have double of a single color, so we are going to need um, that Dryad or the Chromantic Lantern in order to fix us so that we can play them. So we're going to be playing this game, this deck today. Um, we'll see how it goes. It's some, it's a hit or miss, but it's a lot of fun. It has a lot of rares and mythics that make up of it, but we'll see. All right, we're going to try our best with this game. Um, we need some ramp or a board wipe, some type of removal. We'll see what the deck brings us. All right, unfortunately, uh, we just have these two lands. It's not gonna be enough, so we will have to mulligan down. We do have a, a Mana Geode, though, and my favorite personal card in the deck. So, that's fine. I think we're gonna put out back the Mark. Even though I do like it because it has Flying and Lifelink, um, but I think Teferi's Protection might be just a little bit better. Okay. We have to get to the Mana Geode. We, they take a little bit of time. Petrus Monument. Okay, so it looks like they're probably going to go wide here. We're going to go Mana Geode. Be perfect. Fine. So we actually don't have a mountain or a plains, but... Okay, so we will be able to play Terror here, which isn't too bad. We could also just go Tristani. Have the lifelink. I think I want Terror first. Because if I can go Terror and it's not messed with, then this, when these come in, it'll be two two twos, and I can also fire them, which would be an excellent turn. Okay, looks like we're in the clear here. Could also go Sunbird Invocation, but I think it's best to probably get through this. Clear it. Turn. Let's say one here and oh and it looks like that's enough for opponent to not want to deal with this um sunbirds would have been nice but i did clear these they just didn't have a land to drop down after they played the feldar like they were a counter deck and they used the grateful apparition to do so but okay 
So pretty good. Um, we were able to find the fixing, which was very important there because um, the terror is a double red spell. And we're going to try again to see if we can get some good games. Um, opponent was pretty quick to surrender there, so hopefully we'll have someone that'll stick around for a little bit longer. Alright, um, this hand is pretty good because it has the Magda and the Dryad to be able to fix us. So hopefully opponent's not playing something too scary. Such a scary sounding effect. Oh, okay. So it looks like it's an is it deck. Um I'm gonna get the Magda in first. I'm going to attack first. See what we can do here. We have the spark double as an option. Or the Magda, which would be kind of cool. But I'm worried about whatever opponent has. So I think at this point, it's better just to get the Dryad in. And then get to play the Hinderland Harbor. It is a counterspell deck. Okay. Alright. Fine. That's unfortunate, because that was our fixing, but I think I'd rather that than the Magda die. So this is probably another counter spell. As long as we can get our mana up, I think it's okay. Looks like it's going to be a lot of counter spells. Heck. The Charming Prince is pretty good. It lets us scry. Let's do this and expect this to be countered. Yep, that's fine. I will now play my search because it's safe. It looks like it's pretty much all counters. Okay, Magda is gone. Bye, Magda. Looks like the coast is clear, though. So I'm gonna, at this point, I'm gonna get it in this gig in. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm gonna take your Niv. Thanks. <laughs> That's what you get. That's what you get, opponent. For I and I saw it coming. Beacon Bolt. That's that's what you get. Delina is a lot of fun. Transform this. Alright, we're gonna take out one of these. I'm doing this first because I thought they might have more counters. They might not. I might be doing this like too paranoid. I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack first.
Alright, well, I'm gonna try it then. Flies. Okay. That would have been fun. Got her snipe. Um, that's game. Yeah, I was like... <laughs> they had a lot of counter spells, just being gross. Um, but we were able to take their Niv. The Gigan. Just, there's only one of the Gigan in the whole deck, which is pretty sweet. Um, we didn't have any even mana. Everything is odd. <laughs> Everything that was milled was odd, which is odd. <laughs> but thankfully we were able to, to deal with it. I think the game was kind of over when I got the Niv down on the field, but they wanted to stay a little longer. I get. It's fine. Nice. Up another pathway. All right. A couple more games just to show up the pile. It is completely RNG. So whatever you get, it's you're probably not seeing it every single game. Um it's very similar to Commander or Brawl in the fact that everything is different. Different. Okay. Cannot keep this. But that's okay. Um, I do have the Immortal Sun, which is always really good. Kind of a non-bow in this deck, though, because there is a fair amount of uh, Planeswalkers, but it's still fun. So, fine. Get extra card draw, and you want just card draw in this deck. Um, I think I'm gonna keep this only because we have Set Robot. Um, we'll take out the Hostage Shaker, that's fine. Ooh, it's a mill deck. Self mill, huh? So we are really slow. I did keep a hand that only has four drops, unfortunately. We'll see. Yeah, it's definitely a self mill, so let's see what they got. Thankfully, they found nothing so far. Um, we're still taking a lot of damage, but we really need sad robot soon. So it is the Elish Norn reanimator. It's the Praetor reanimator deck. We'll have some things to deal with it, but it's gonna it's gonna be a little bit. Emery. Haven't really found much for that, at least. Um, do I get Sad Robot here, or do I go Rekindling Phoenix to hold them back? I think Rekindling Phoenix is pretty good. They 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 probably have to double spell. Trophy Mage! Mana value 3 or less, reveal and put your- We've been very slow, but I think it's okay. So sacrifice it, search your graveyard in hand for a card name. This battlefield. Got it. I don't really need Sad Robot as much anymore. Let's do this and we can hold this up. I'm just gonna start to get in some damage. This has afterlife triggers too, so Shieldred is not as good. Hey, okay, they're going gate.
They know blocks. My turn. Oh my goodness, I have Chaos Warp. Let's go. Chaos Warp. What do I want to do? Need. Second blue source, I guess. This puts it onto the battlefield tap, so none of this matters that much. The blue source. Second blue source is always decent. Alright. And we will end our turn there. Pay two and sacrifice it. So yeah, we're just like good stuff. I want a Chaos Warp. I mean, normally we Chaos Warp and we get a land because there's just 105 lands in the deck. But we could, we could have something really good. You're telling me there's a chance. Opponent has not had lands, unfortunately. Um, they just keep milling all of their lands. So they had to put a little bit more turns with creatures into the graveyard. Um, they can do this. If God Pharaoh's gift, okay, I see where this is going. It's a God Pharaoh's gift. Nice. I like it. I do like it, opponent. Have to block. Four, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm just straight up dead. Alright. That's okay. Nice. Their little little one ones and stuff actually did did uh did work versus that. I was trying to outrace them. See, I knew I wish should have had the chaos warp up. <laughs> should I should have done chaos? Nah. I wouldn't have been able to do it anyway. What I could have done is not played this and held this up for when they did get something that was uh, able to bring things back, but that was a lot of fun anyway. I don't even care. <laughs> I like it. I like it, opponent. When an opponent plays jank back, like that's that's the type of uh, thing that I like to see. <laughs> Alright, let's play one more of this deck so you can get the feel of it. Again, you there's a whole bunch of cards that we've been playing um, you haven't seen, right? It's always different. It's always fun. You can do you can make a whole deck of this for uncommons and commons if you really want. I don't like this hand. I'll look at that. They can't do the Brazen Borrow, we have the Cosmos really for like, well, the Mythos is fun, but we just don't have mana for it. We have the fixing. Meat Hook Massacre, I haven't been able to use that yet. Go to Memory Deluge. Get this out. Oh, if I can, if I can do a big Meat Hook Massacre, that would be great. I would love that. Alright, again, we don't really have anything before four, so unfortunate, but discard a card. Alright, I'm gonna discard the spark devil then. Bye. Guessing it might be a discard deck. Might be a discard deck. Cleric. Masker is gonna be so good. Oh my good. Go slaughter specialist. He's beautiful. 
This was actually my preview card for Midnight uh, Hunt. I love her. So I can actually get this for one. For that. This is gonna destroy all non-artifact creatures, right? So I should just kill them all now. And have some fun. So, I do damage here. So when this dies, it's gonna kill this. It doesn't actually matter. I just wanted to do that because I wanted to see the slaughter specialists activate in their triggers. I'm gonna do this so they have to um use their minus one minus one here. Too bad theirs goes off first. I couldn't order that. Oh! Well, yeah, I guess it doesn't really matter because there's gonna- this is gonna board wipe. That was fun. I guess I could have done that first and then... After, maybe? Attacked first, or, uh, done this and then attacked, and then they would had to have done that? No, it was better. I really like the Frixian scriptures. I don't see that very often. get the terror out and then we can treasure map on their end step not legendary so if I if I can mythos ooh if I can mythos no all right so they yeah they have a lot of board wipes probably looks like it's quite a few board wipes more. Cosmos Elixir is pretty good. Um, I think this is worth it to draw multiple cards. Doesn't actually matter. Oh. Nice. I did use all of it, but I think it's I think it's it's worth it. I say that and then I draw nothing. <laughs> I say that and then this is where we are. Oh my goodness. It's just lands. Ah That's okay, the Hydra Crisis is gonna help us. <laughs> I was like, yeah, this is fine. 
All right, this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Can't wait to turn. I mean, I could with the Perforos. Oh, I'm gonna die, so I got I have the Vorinclex. Got more lands, unfortunately. I was trying to find some type of removal. I think I might actually chump block here. Just to make sure that I can draw more. Oh. Ah. Well, chat, now we have a problem. Because these Cosmos Elixirs are actually not going to do the job. I think we say no blocks, we take the damage. So this and um, mill us. Trying to find something. All right, eight. We do this, and then we run Fable Passage to try to get through things. Let's just try to lower the amount of lands that we have in the deck. Just a little bit. I'm gonna try to reduce it. Don't think it matters, so... Um, see, we're not gonna die, so may as well, right? Well, what if they have another ritual? Yeah, it's still it's still worth it. I think fine with this trade. I'm fine with that. Because we're gonna be gaining more from the Cosmos Elixirs now. So hopefully that has stabilized us so slightly. Ugh! Wow. Well, they had brought back. Unfortunate for us. Back up to 20. Scarred. It's a land. Okay, we're gonna do this and we're gonna do it right now so that we can activate it and draw for the Cosmos Elixir. No. Oh my goodness, okay. We still have more. That's unfortunate. Oh no! Oh, it's mana value 3 or greater. Okay, that's fine. Oh. Oof. We're gonna- we're gonna search. Uh... Vorinclex is pretty good. But I don't know if I need that right now.
You know what? Why not? They have no attacks, and then we draw two. Okay. I'm trying. I'm trying over here. They're gonna bring something back. Obviously, it's a board wipe. But I think we have stabilized a little bit now. Uh, you know what? I'm, I'm gonna keep that. Oh my goodness, please. Ah! <sighs> uh. Okay, I'm gonna end turn. We're gonna draw two. <sighs> We're flooding pretty hard, but that's okay. I think we'll be okay with the Teferi's protection. I'm gonna- I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna save it. Ooh, that was quite loud. Um... Can you not tap that way, please? All right, give me that. I'm gonna play it. It does. It's tapping it. I don't. You know what? That's fine. Whatever. Okay, non-land. Regent. I think this is game now. I think we have stabilized and we are good to go. Oh man, I, I wasn't sure about those Cosmos Elixirs. But it seems like we are able to finally stop. They had... A lot of removals. So that's Ritual, Brexian Scriptures, Wrath of God, it's three three board wipes, three different types of board wipes, and then Elspeth. I think opponent has just left the game. The Elixirs have done a ton of work. Um, I actually haven't been able to play with the Moonvale Regent yet. But getting able to just keep throwing things out was really nice. Um, the Hydroid kept us alive. Um, all in all, I think this deck, you know, now you can see kind of what it is. And it's completely RNG, so I don't, I don't know what I'm getting, because there's just a few of the, uh, like, just one of pretty much everything, except for when you copy things with the Cosmos, like the Cosmos, the Mythos. But there's only one mythos, so like it's pretty good. Um Hey YouTube cat, I need you to just go until they concede, okay? Hello, cat editing this video. Just speed it up until they die. Don't worry about it. 
after watching this and I have not sped through this part, it means I've forgotten and you should tell me in the comments and go boo. <laughs> All right, we have a little bit more to go around. It's fine. Hello. Twitch chat. I know you're here and you can talk to me. This is the extra, extra, like, hidden content you're gonna find from the YouTube videos. You can watch it live here. Join my Twitch, you get to see this live. <laughs> Opponent is salty. They are not happy with the Teferi's protection. Over here. I don't know why all of this is, like, still holding the Teferi's protection. I guess it's a bug. We're still speeding through this. La da 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 All right, so, uh, opponent is done with the game, they are out, and that means that it's our victory. We were able to stabilize with the Cosmos Elixir, um, thankfully with all of their ton of removal, and uh, finish this game up. I hope you guys like the deck. Um, it is pretty fun when you could just, you know, keep having a fresh new game every single time. I love the fact that it's always different. It's never the same way to win. There's cards that you'll won't see for 10 different games, and then there's some cards that you just weirdly see, you know, over and over, but it's a lot of fun. You can build it at home with your own version of whatever you got on Arena and just put it all together. But until next time, please like, comment and subscribe to this video. It helps the channel a lot. Until next time, bye YouTube!